Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today with the topic of uh, the load line analysis. All right. So this is just a simple topic, you know. Just we understand the Q point with the help of this topic. All right. So let me give the heading. That is the load line analysis of a diode you know that because you are studying a diode all right so now what is this load line analysis so this basically is a graphical approach in which we do what we uh, draw the load curve graphical approach and this is done to determine the Q point and what is this Q point so this I am just going to tell you right now after a while, not right now. So, load line analysis. This is done for uh, for what? For non-linear circuits. All right. For non-linear circuits. And what are these non-linear circuits? These are the circuits that do not obey Ohm's law. That is, the voltage is not directly proportional to the current, all right? So, they, they do not obey the Ohm's law and the example of this is a diode. Diode, a transistor and I believe LED also, okay? So, so this at sector. Now, what is a transistor? So, we'll see that in a very great detail. Load line analysis is a graphical approach. It is done to do what uh, it is done to find the Q point and it is for nonlinear circuit but what basically is this load line analysis is we, uh, we it is done through the uh, load equation through the equation of the circuit all right through the circuit equation so now we will understand it just in a minute okay so let me have a simple you know, this is a voltage source V and this is a diode D and we have the load resistance RL. So, let's say this is a simplified circuit. So, let me name it RL. So, we have the, the potential drop again, uh, let's say this is VL and the potential drop across this diode would be VD and the current flowing is the same through both the materials so let me name it as ID okay now apply KVL Kirchhoff's voltage law apply Kirchhoff's voltage law so this V is a voltage rise and the other two are voltage drops so VD plus VL and this VL I can write as I uh, D uh, into R L all right okay with ID into R L now this is the circuit equation all right this is from the basic circuit by applying the KVL let me name this equation number one fine we have what we have the the, the characteristics of the diode so let's say I'm drawing the forward bias characteristics. This is the voltage across the diode. This is the current through the diode. And this is the barrier potential VB. Fine. So what do you have now? So now I put uh, uh, one by one. I put first VD equal to zero and then ID equal to zero. So to determine the intercepts the x and y intercepts of this curve so let me put first uh, let's say vd equal to 0 vd equal to 0 so what happens is that uh, the v is equal to this is from 1 right v is equal to id rl and this implies that id is equal to V upon RL. This is the Y intercept. At this, the value of X is 0. Okay. Now I do what? The, uh, let's say I first 
mentioned it over here. So here V D is equal to zero. So this is the y intercept. Let's say this is the value of it. And what is the value? It's V upon uh, or let me write it to the other side. So it's V upon R L. Now the second thing that I need to do is put ID equal to zero. So if you put ID equals to zero, what happens? V is equal to VD. So if there is no current in the circuit, the voltage applied is all across the, the, the what? The diode. So this, let's say this is a value over here anywhere. So let me take it over here and this value represents V. So by joining these two points, we know that the minimum number of uh, points required to join a straight line are two. So let me, let me join them. So let me replace it by this point. So it's a straight line, right? So this, the, the blue curve, the blue curve represented the diode characteristics. And this uh, red curve, this represents the load line. And see, we have an intersection. And this intersection is called the Q point. Intersection is called the Q point. So Q point is the point of intersection between the load line and the diode characteristics. This Q point is also called quiescent point. This Q is from quiescent. Quiescent point. And this also is called operating point. And what does this quiescent mean? This quiescent means still or unvarying. It is not changing. We only have one Q point in the figure. Alright, now what is this Q point basically? So this physically means that this is a safe point of operation of the diode. If you're going above, so by a small change of V, D, the current is rising rapidly. And similarly, if we are going below, so for a large change of V, we have a significantly very less amount of change for the current ID. Alright, over here we have a rapid change of current, over here we have a lesser change of current. So this Q point is basically a stable point of operation of this uh, diode. Alright, so I believe this is it for it. And uh, the slope of the road line, slope. So uh, let me, uh, slope, all right, slope of load line, slope of load line. Every line has a slope, right? So the equation was what? V is equal to V D I R. So I, I rearranged this equation in the form as equation of line is what? Line equation is of the form y is equal to m x plus c all right so this y is i and x is vd so i will rearrange it like this so id rl is equal to v minus vd and i could write this id is v upon rl minus VD upon RL. So have a look. Or I can write it as like this. That negative VD I could write first over RL plus V upon RL. So now Y is equal to so over here have a look. Y is equal to MX plus C. So Y is ID uh, X is VD, so C would be what? C would be a positive V upon RL, and this would imply that the slope of the curve, slope is equal to M is equal to negative 1 over RL, which means that the resistance defines the slope. Okay, so now this means by changing the resistance, 
the slope will change and hence the Q point changes. So, which means Q point is the load resistance dependent. Alright, by changing RL, what will change? Sl slope will change. And by changing the slope, the the, the what? The Q point will change. So, this means what? In short, if I need to write it, so Q point is resistance dependent. And by resistance dependent, I mean what? That it changes with the change of load resistance. It is load resistance dependent. Alright. So, I had an example over this as well. But I believe I have taken a lot of time. And if I put the example in this video as well, so then it would be boring. So, the example to the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.